Hello, this is Kevin Tyson from iChem Labs. Today I'm going to show off some WebGL content, namely the 3D ChemDiddle web components, running on some mobile devices. The first mobile device is actually an iPhone 3GS. I'm just going to open it right up, and you can see that the molecule renders as such. We can actually interact with it. Uh, the rendering is quite good. We can even use uh, pinch to zoom gestures to uh, focus in on part of the content. Okay, the content is not limited to small molecules. We can also take a look at some macromolecular structures, such as the uh, nucleotide, uh, uh, the nucleic acid, represented by the PDB code 2OEY. And again, the performance is very, very good. Frame rate's very fast, very responsive, and we can zoom all the way in to see uh, close detail on some of the structures. The next device I'm going to show off is actually a Android HTC Droid Incredible 1. So this is the last generation. In fact, the performance on this is also quite good. So right now we are in the Firefox mobile browser and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load up one of our Chrome experiments actually the PDB ribbon demo so you can see how fast that loads and right away the ribbon pops up and what we're going to do is zoom in a little bit in landscape mode and we can see it uh, rotating. Again, the performance is quite good, and I can change some of the settings. And you can see it updates in real time uh, to give us quite nice interactive capabilities on our mobile devices. So expect WebGL to be coming to mobile devices soon, and expect the ChemDiddle web components to be fully supporting the mobile devices. So you can finally bring your interactive 3D content to your users when they're using iPhones, iPads, Android devices, etc. Okay, for more information, check out web.chemdoodle.com. Thank you.